Hello all, welcome to another FFT Arena matchup here. <clears throat> and this time, this is uh, one of Fanatic's newest teams known as Next on top, versus Audible's team on bottom, which is known as Springtime Sisters. So for Fanatic, we have uh, Barank the Paladin, Lanarai the Lancer, um, Dicer the Thief, and, and uh, Priyadin the Priest. Pretty interesting. Um, this is an immortal paladin with um, only cheer song. He's only designed to just keep pumping the uh, speed of his team members. Mune the Petrify, which is good. Um, also has move HP up and HP restore, so he can basically just take a pounding. And Diamond Shield just to pretty much prevent holy. For the most part, uh, defense armor can prevent fire. <clears throat> fire. Um, yeah, I think diamond should also prevent earth, so that's pretty good. Uh, Mirror don't move and don't act, which is always good. So this is just basically a singing bot, a lancer with only Masamune, two hands, PSA fly. Um, he will do a lot of damage with his melee attacks as far as uh, the two hand front goes, but with jump, it's gonna do a normal amount of damage. You might have been better off just using Overwhelm, personally. Um, although, I kind of see why you would prefer two hands, because... You know, JP issues and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, PA saves okay. If you're just going for regular melee pokes, then it'll do a lot of damage. And jump is just nice for... Picking off weakened opponents anyways. Speaking of jump, this thief also has jump. With two hands and main gauge. He should be doing the same amount of damage as this Lancer, somewhat. Um, except again, two hands does not enhance jump damage though, it just enhances melee damage, just want to make that clear. Awareness is good, because the Thief can now capitalize on using the main gauge. Uh, which provides 40% weapon evade. Which is really nice, because that's going to be applied to all, all of his sides, including the back. And this is a, um, Priest with like, Cure 4, Protect 2 Asuna. No raise because th three units are either undead or immortal. Well, two are, are undead and one's immortal. And she has chivalry, so she can just hit re raise onto herself. <coughs> Say this whip, so that way, since she has best compat with um, these two, she can say this whip them for a heal. Although, on this particular thief, it might work against her to go for the say this whip heal because the thief can potentially block it. So you might be, so you might want to change that to something else if you're trying to go for the heal. Personally, Audible meanwhile has uh, Petunia the Paladin, Spiria the Monk, Orchard the Scholar, and Geranium the Geomancer. This is a um, stats inflicting slash magic. This is basically a magic based team. Uh, this Paladin only has Zombie and Paralyzed for Union Magic. And the usual should we support nurse transfusion we raise this one is just wants to inflict stats effects on you Too bad that she doesn't have a um a Zephyr shield. She would have been at a nice 10 speed Although a scooch on two is okay because you want max evade um, This is a time magic monk with haste to slow to don't move and um, Sinkhole so she just throws haste and slows around pretty much um, this is a white magic scholar with magic attack up. She has mad science as well as quake and tornado And she's benefiting from that thanks to the uh, prismatic rod Magic rain so I guess she can absorb wind so she can heal herself with tornado She can heal this monk with also with tornado and uh, Finally a geomancer with summon magic has basically Ramu Shiva Efret Leviathan, whatever um, some of magic this Geomancer's got, she's packing. Magic attack up, 108 gems, 16 MA. Yeah, she's going to be doing quite a bit of damage. Quite a bit. So, pretty offensive oriented, as well as as well as the stats base that Audubon's got going on for him as well. Should be interesting to see how uh, <clears throat> this plays out. We're going to be going to map 79, which is Yugua Woods. Good luck to the both of you. We shall see what happens.
So we have, um, let's see, Fenrir is in the black while Otabo is in the green. Oh, the monk's only got haste one. Huh. Alright, my bad. I thought she had, like, haste two or something, but... Let's see, nonetheless, Thief goes for a melee whack, gets a, eats a counterflip for his trouble. Shiva goes off and only to the Thief. He remains in critical, or he's in critical now, rather. Let's see, don't act on the Lancer, don't, don't know if that's going to hit or not. See, so Jumis will once again rush forward. Thief is going to run, run off and go for a jump. It redirected the don't move spell in the meantime, which is really nice. Priest will be looking for a cure 4 onto herself. Thief eats that counter flood after their jump. Lunarai goes for a poke shot in the paladin and gets it. It looks to be a 69% raise too. From Audible's or uh scholar, excuse me. Didn't see if Chiton hit anyone or not. I know it missed two people. And a very, very powerful Moogle from the Geomancer. 200 plus. Nice. Lancer goes down to a race 2. We can see Mad Science to give Geomancer re raise. As well as uh, Regen and Float. Cherson does hit the Priest. Paralyzed misses. There's a slow two. See another don't act onto the priest who's at the moment slowed. And it looks like Otabo does have this matchup pretty much in his hands. Double kill and yeah. No re-raise trick, no in, no undead getting up, none of that. Audible wins this one. We'll see what happens in round two. <clears throat> round two is about to begin, and we are now in map 84, Barrius Hill. <coughs> Let's see how round two shapes up for both squads. Lancer with... Uh, Fly should give him a nice edge in this map because he can maneuver almost pretty much anywhere without the uh, height restrictions. However, that also means he's prime position to be targeted with a lot of spells apparently. One being a don't act, other being a slow two, catches a thief as well, eats a quake, and gonna eat a shiva. And I still couldn't take the lancer down. Sooner to remove the don't act, but I think that Lancer, uh, Lanarai may have to, um, sit this one out for a while. Double panel of haste, which does work. And Masmune, as a Lancer, will just fly back. Unfortunately, though, he's about to get picked off by the Geomancer. She does carry Salamander, and I believe that Lancer should be weak to fire. Oh, there's a Le Leviathan. But <laughs> that took him out. Of course, the priest does not know raise or raise two. That's only because she's the only member of the team that is actually um, relying on self re raising herself. Air Chirson ain't gonna help matters too much right now either. So far, Arabo is looking to blow this one out.
Shirsan misses again. Another slow two from the monk. Geomancer will still keep catching her AoE goodness. Drops the uh, scene paladin, but he'll get right back up anyways. Skull looks for tornado. Instant tornado. Which is... Yep, that was a double kill right there. So, Audible takes this one. GG.